Hey, it's Doug Cunnington from nichesiteproject.com. I'm going to do a short video on Asana, just sort of uh, an overview. And a couple of the things I'm going to hit are how I manage uh, some of my daily tasks and how I plan my day using Asana. I'm going to talk a little bit about some specific niche site uh, creation tasks that you might have that you could use Asana for. And also, I'm going to talk about uh, a little bit of, I guess, like a content calendar. So you could use this for your own personal blog, um, a client site, or even your own niche sites if you want to you know, keep a pretty tight schedule on how you're publishing content. So first off, you do need an account at Asana. It's really easy to sign up. As you can see, you can just put in your email address or you can use your G plus login just to get in there and you'll be up and running really quick. Um, one thing to note is, you know, some of the other companies that are using Asana, it's, um, you know, some huge companies like Dropbox, Pinterest, Uber, Airbnb, and it's kind of a, a nice alternative to Basecamp. So uh, I picked Asana over Basecamp back when I was trying to figure out which um, project slash task management software that I wanted to use. And I went with Asana because it was free for under 15 people. So my team is very small, usually like one to three people, um, including myself. So um, I went with this free option and the interface uh, that Asana has is really nice. All right. So I've already logged in, so I'll just close this out. And I guess it's probably important before we dive into anything too specific here to talk about you know what you might want to use Asana for. So I kind of look at it as a project management type application, a web-based application, and it's really uh, task-based. So Everything in Asana you could think of as a task, although you can repurpose that, um, I guess that definition of uh, you know what that is. But a simple way to think of it is everything listed here is some actionable thing. So I just arbitrarily have uh, you know a niche site project here, um, which we'll dive into some of the details later. But one of the the key things that Asana or Basecamp is useful for is if you have a team of people. So what happens uh, in many cases if you have several people and you're only using say email or spreadsheets to manage your projects, you end up with two streams of information. One is uh, just the email communications and then the other would maybe be the task list in a, a Google Doc or a spreadsheet and you just end up with uh, sort of disjointed information and it can be hard to follow. If it's a bigger company and it's a very large project with many different teams, the number of interfaces that are out there makes it almost unmanageable to try and work through a project using only email and a list. It's very difficult. And what um, Asana does, and like I, I keep referring to Basecamp too, but um, they sort of bring those two areas together. So you end up with, I guess, one tool that you can use where you have a task and all the communications that are you know, related to it. So for example, um, if we just went to this task here, it doesn't matter what it is, but you can um, have, uh, I guess, comments here. You could have a description and you can do all sorts of um, you know, additional things things. You add due dates and owner. You can also add subtasks in here. You can add a, a tag, attachments um, from Dropbox, Google Drive, um, Box, or even from your machine. And it, it really just makes it much easier to track a project in a task-based manner um, outside of an email uh, inbox. So that's kind of a high overview, but let's let's get into the specifics here. And if you're actually going to, I guess, manage daily tasks, and this is sort of what I, I like to do, um, you can go to a, a task view here. Um, so there's many different tasks here. It's for, across all the different projects. You see there's some additional information here like planning. So that's a, 
you know, a tag that's associated with this particular task. And this one belongs to, to niche site uh, number two, which is one of the projects listed here. So all these here are new tasks and I actually intended to clean that up, but what we'll do, we could actually just move those down to upcoming. And uh, it'll take a second to reassign all those. And what we can do, so we have upcoming tasks here, and then we have uh, tasks to accomplish later here. And what we can do, um, let's say I want to uh, figure out what tasks I'm gonna do today. And this is actually something that I, I, I do. Um, I really uh, look for the highest priority tasks for any given day. So it's um, the items that are uh, the task items that are in the in the critical path, things that I absolutely must complete, or else I end up um, being hung up. Uh, so we'll I'll leave it at that and come back to it in a second. But what I can do is click this uh, circle here, and I can mark it for today, upcoming, or for later. So. Typically, I like to identify, you know, two to four uh, tasks, major things that I need to get done, and that'll make all the other tasks a little bit easier to do. So once I mark it as today, you'll see now there's a new, um, I guess, categorization here. Um, it's a today section. So what I can do is pick these other tasks that I know that I need to complete today. And I can just work through that list of three and I don't need to get overwhelmed with all these upcoming tasks. In fact, we could just close them and there's later here, but again, it, you don't need to worry about those other than you know they're out there. So on a daily basis, it's really a good practice to go ahead, figure out what you're gonna be doing um, today. At the end of the day, I'll take an assessment, figure out what I've completed, Maybe I've completed these two. Um, those are off the list, but I never quite finished. I never quite finished number three, and I um, realized that that'll stay on the queue, and then it'll you know be around for tomorrow. And at the end of the day, I'd also sort of probably, if I have time, take a look and see what I want to do um, for the next day. So in that case, you know, I'd probably queue th queue things up to make sure they're ready for tomorrow. Okay. And as I mentioned, you know, how can you use this for, um, for niche sites? So we could take a quick look. Um, I did sort of move things around. I, I showed you a little bit of this earlier, but um, each one of these sections uh, has all the tasks associated with that. So here I have planning, I have keyword and, and product research, first page competition analysis, um, selecting a domain and hosting, and uh, content creation and so on. There's, there's several more all the way down to you know, promotion and link building, but you get the idea. And what you end up with here is a template that you can create and you can create the first one and then you could copy it over to um, other projects. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward to outline or sorry, create the template where you're outlining the whole process and then you can work through each one of these items uh, for many different projects. As you saw before, and I'm, I'm sort of, you know, going in and out of talking about the application and applying it to, you know, real life situation, but review Amazon uh, product categories to get ideas in, in the keyword research section. So here, as I mentioned, you actually can put um, some very specific criteria or things that you're thinking about that you want um, to consider. Um, in addition, you could add subtasks where it could, you know, direct you to specific categories to take a look at, like uh, home goods, um, groceries, etc and so on. So you could have several things that um, you could set up in a checklist style so that you actually know that you take care of everything that you're supposed to for each one of these tasks. Um, and as you can see, there are a great number of tasks in creating a, an actual site. So that's something that um, you could really break down this seemingly overwhelming sort of project into really manageable parts.
Okay. Now, the other thing that I wanted to uh, point out is it is a project management, task management type tool. However, there are many, many applications and, and one that's very relevant to niche sites or blogging would be a content calendar. So let's look at a real application of how this would work. Um, what I have set up is basically the, the flow of an article um, as it's you know conceived at the very beginning as an idea all the way down until it's published and you know right now I have um, several several arbitrary articles sample articles um, to look at but let's just look at um, say article Y here so we have the idea let's say we added some details here I won't fill it out for um, for now in the interest of time but um, once we have the idea maybe we um, assign it to myself and give it a due date of um, tomorrow so I know that I need to work on this particular task for tomorrow and just to show you how to use um, the, the tags here maybe let's give it um, a category of um, I guess blogging topic so it's a blogging topic and I can you know quickly filter on that for you know that topic uh, or any other task that has that tag so what would happen and in, in the reason why we have these different sections is so we can see where each of our articles are at and if we need to worry uh, <laughs> if we need to worry that we're not going to have something published in time. So let's just look at article Y, like I mentioned. So once we have the idea, I, I see it's due tomorrow, so I better get working on it. Once it's drafted, I can move it over to the draft section. And at that point, um, if that is completed and I, you know, make some notes here, um, drafted, and then I could you know, put the comment on there and we see today 4.15 p.m. It's actually drafted and um, whoever is supposed to review it can take a look at it. So that's great. And I can move it over to uh, in review. So ideally, I would probably have an editor or someone other than myself who wrote it to um, <laughs> to review it. I may review it myself. That does happen from time to time if no one else can uh, proofread for me. So in that case, um, once it's reviewed, we could say, you know, completed uh, review, add the comment. And as you can see, we're building um, basically the comment history here. We can see very um, specifically that I made those comments and when they were done. So once, um, the that is uh, completed and, and I may actually want to note uh, let's see we, we could also note that it's approved since the next section is actually denoting approved so we see uh, we just move it through the flow here and lastly as you could imagine we would move it to published um, once it's published on the website so Pretty, pretty cool way to track a task through basically different phases of, of what uh, it could be in and really have a good idea of where uh, you know any project is. So another cool thing, um, obviously we have a lot of uh, articles listed here in various stages, but you could also take a look at the calendar view. So as we saw before, um, we have article Y um, with a due date here on the 7th and of course uh, going back to this view we could we could change it to you know whatever uh, like the 11th something like that uh, if we want to publish on Saturday when we come over to the calendar okay so I expanded it out to show the weekend and we can see article Y scheduled um, to be due on the 11th so I think I think that concludes uh, everything that I wanted to show here. As you can see, it's pretty powerful, especially if you look at a specific um, problem that you're trying to solve, like a content calendar or mapping out a full um, niche site and all the tasks that you have to do. 
Um, the other thing to keep in mind is while Asana and Basecamp and some other project management software is very effective and efficient for uh, working with a large team, you can also break it down and just use it uh, on your own uh, with just one person to keep things organized. Or even if you have a small team, um, it can be pretty powerful to have each of these tasks assigned to a person with due dates and move through the process. I got a couple of these ideas from the Asana website. They have a really nice section where they have examples on how to implement different, um, I guess, different systems using Asana. So you can track bugs for software, you can uh, use it for brainstorming and sort of voting uh, within a team and several other things. So these are just a couple um, examples. And if you enjoyed the video, let me know. I can do more of these. I, I really like um, Asana as a tool and um, you know I'm, I'm using it more and more. So thanks.